Hey, hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Macabre Gorium Labs Classic School of Boredom. That's right, we're back with episode 108 Boglins. Less than a Muppet, more than a puppet. So as we have said many times, and trust me when I say, well, many more, the 1980s was full of some of the grossest, most obscure toys. However, today we're going to talk about a specific toy that has been brought back into the spotlight by none other than the iconic Rick and Morty. Whoa, garage foul. Who said you could go through my stuff? Wait, where's my bog one? There you are. Don't worry, Pop Pop's back. I'll keep you safe. As previously stated, the 1980s were chock full of gross-out humor, strange and macabre toys, and pet creatures all around for you to call your very own. One of these toy pets likely adorned your parents' collectible shelf was none other than Boglins. Over here, I'm a Boglin. Me and my buddies need a place to hide out. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> Now there is not a lot of information to gather on the lore of these interesting little creatures, but rest assured we will bring you as much information as we possibly can. Unlike most of the other toys of this era, this particular one did not have a television show, a movie, or an animated series. In fact, the only real insight into the lore of Boglins can only be found on the back of the original package in the form of an info card known as the Boglins Field Notes. While we will not actually be taking a look at the Field Notes in this particular lesson, there is an accompanying extra credit coming out soon based solely on the Boglins Field Notes. Brought to the public in 1987, Boglins were created by Tim Clark, Maureen Trotto, and Larry Mass, whom were all alumni of the Jim Henson Company. The decision to create these adorably grotesque little guys was in part due to a sensation of creepy creatures of that era. More specifically, they were intended as an addition to the already ongoing toy line, the Sectars. The Battle of the Sectors begins. Heroic Dargon, leader of the forces of good, is ambushed by evil Sectors. The Boglins, by their proper Latin name, Boglinus Humongous, were, however, given their own brand and toy line. In 1987, Mattel would release the Boglins as three original designs named Dwork, Vlob, and Drool. All three of the original puppets were made of an artificial rubber material called Creighton, which is a soft, flexible substance. Each of the original models also had the ability to move the eyes and eyebrows separately, and featured glow-in-the-dark eyes. Speaking of models, let's take a look at each of them now before we jump into their lore and history. First up is Dwork. Dwork is a greenish, yellow goblin slug with two antenna on top of his head. He was covered in warts and has two arms with four stubby fingers on each hand. He has a tail like that of an alien, a human-esque nose, pit bull-like ears, greenish eyes, and his mouth featured two teeth on his upper jaw with one of them being either broken or impacted. Next up on our Boblin checklist is Vlob. Vlob is a blue round-shaped creature with a short tail that resembles that of a space slug, like you might see in a video game. He sees the world with his blue-green eyes and he has rounded ears similar to a panda or a baby tiger. He also shares the same two hands with the same four stubby fingers and human-esque nose as the other two. He has two teeth with one on the upper side and the other on the opposite side bottom of his mouth. Vlob didn't have antennae, but instead looked like he had two divots on top of his wrinkled head. Hey, editor, do a wipe transition, because next up is drool. The Boglin drool looks like what would happen if you mix the DNA of a human, a pug dog, and a ball of raw pizza dough together. He has the same nose, arms, and hands as his friends, but has a more squishy appearance. He has short pointy ears and a short skinny tail very similar to the others. Drool had gray brown eyes and two teeth in his mouth with one on top and one on bottom of his mouth. The idea for Boglins was inspired by the giant Olmec heads of ancient Mexico. That is interesting. 
However, there are a lot of Boglins that were added to the Boglin line. So, without further ado, let's just take a look at each one in a list-like process. There were smaller Boglins, known as the subspecies Boglinus minimus. Let's take a look at them now. Boglinus minimus. The Boglinus minimus set consisted of squidge, schlump, schlurp, sponk, squawk, and squeal. However, in the UK, these names were changed to squit, boink, splat, blap, clank, and doink, respectively. Then there were the talking boglins, glint and quirk. Then there was the soggy boglins, snish the fish, slog the frog, and slobster the lobster. There were two Halloween boglins, blobkin and bog-o-bones. Three glow-in-the-dark boglins, clang, doink, and squit were all made in glow-in-the-dark versions. Action boglins, rasp, gunge, lick, eyeball, and spit. The basham boglins, splat and squish, and finally, baby boglins. Because everything in the 80s had a baby version. Blap, boink, squit, clang, Doink, Splat, Cratch, Flop, Lerp, Mork, Snot, and Suck. Baby Boglins were much smaller in size and were more like finger puppets as opposed to the full-sized hand puppets. Also, these tiny Boglins came inside of small plastic eggs. Now normally we would take a look into this interesting, albeit limited, lore of these adorable little creatures. However, the only real or official lore came from the backing card of the cage or package they originally came in. At least at the time of filming this school of boredom, Boglins are not officially sold in retail stores. But there is a website you can go to, link in the description, where you can find some of these recreations made by one of the original designers, none other than Tim Clark. And you can find these awesome and creepy creations available at Tim's website, Totems.com. We checked out this website while doing research for this video and I must say, some of these are really cool. If I do decide to pick up a couple, we will definitely do a review over on my personal channel, Bats from the Grave. Tim has a large variety of new and old Boglin designs for sale, including Glow in the Dark, Black Light Responsive, and alternate versions of each and every one. Looking over this awesome website, if you navigate over to the bio panel, you can read a short bit of information about this rad toy creator. And it reads, Tim Clark, master toy designer known as the King of Gross. For over 30 years, Tim has been inventing, designing, and sculpting some of the most unusual toys to ever be marketed in the U.S. and abroad. Now some background on this amazing creative man. Tim has also created toys for Melissa and Doug Toys, EK Success, Hasbro, Mattel, Coleco, Kenner, and Ideal Lassiers, just to mention a few. Anyway, that about wraps up all the time we had for this lesson. If you had a good time or maybe learned something new, please feel free to give us a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can see all of our School of Boredoms, Extra Credits, Theory Goriums, and other content as soon as we get it out for you. At any rate, I've been your host, Bats, and this has been the Macabgorium Labs School of Boredom Classic, Boglins. Less than a Muppet, more than a Puppet. Lesson number 108. As usual, think for yourselves and keep it creepy. Over here, I'm a boglin. Me and my buddies need a place to hide out. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> oh, did I scare you? Oh, I did that so well. If you take us home, we'll kiss your aunt Martha. <laughs> we'll eat your peas. And we hope you know lots of girls. Hey, the name's Boglins. You sold separately. And we're looking for good homes. Maybe yours. <laughs> Hey, editor, do a wipe transition, because next up is drool. Hey, thanks for checking out our video. If you'd like to see more content from us, click this link right up here. 
If you'd like to check out one of our partner channels, you can click this link right over here. Either way, we hope you click subscribe and like and check us out for more content and don't forget to turn on notifications.